vlog and welcome to the last video of my Japan trip. It feels like it's been forever for you guys probably because I'll be spacing this out over a time of a couple of weeks. But for me, this is all in the span of seven to eight days. So it's a lot on my shoulders right now. <laughs> but yes, this is the haul of everything I got in Japan. And I'll be separating it into categories of food, makeup slash skincare, and the rest. <laughs> I was fortunate enough to be able to afford sitting in Comfort Plus seats on my way to and from Japan. So when you sit there, you get a little uh, gift bag, and I'll show you what you got in that. I flew Hawaiian, so they give you a nice little eye mask. I use this. I usually don't use eye masks, but this was nice. And they actually had some pretty cool lights on the airplane, but I didn't want to sleep with lights in my eyes, so I definitely used that. They give you a little tissue, nothing that special. I haven't even opened it, so I don't know if there's a design on there. Then they give you a little pack of three that has hydrating mist, lip balm, and hand and body balm with cute little um, plant designs on it. Hopefully the glare isn't too bad on the plastic. And then they give you earbuds, which is, comes in handy because they have little movie entertainment and TV entertainment on the plane. A nice little Hawaiian pen so you can rep Hawaiian Airlines and help promote it. A wooden comb, which is pretty good quality. Haven't used it, but I know a good quality when I see it, I hope. <laughs> and a little um, carrying, like a little plastic set with toothbrush and a little tiny toothpaste. None of this has been opened because I don't really need it, but it was a cute idea for them to have and maybe I'll bring it on my trips in the future because I know I won't be sitting Comfort Plus again probably. And it comes in this really cute little canvas bag carrying case with their um, sim, I don't this isn't the Hawaiian Airlines symbol, but I've been seeing this a lot recently, so maybe they're trying to rebrand. And that's what the little bag looks like. And this size, head sized about. I'm gonna do food stuff first because everyone loves to eat. These are all mostly gifts. Usually doing hauls makes me uncomfortable. That's why I haven't done one yet because it's like, oh, look at me, I could spend all this money. But since most of these are gifts, I feel a little bit better about it because I wasn't going self-indulgent. And I think calls are interesting because it helps people plan what they're gonna buy when they go there because you go into a new country and you don't know what's there. So we got a lot of Kit Kat flavors and I have no idea what most of these are. But the first Kit Kat flavor we got is green tea, I think, yes. There are pictures on the back, so I hope this is right. Oh, Nestle Uji Matcha Project. So it's Uji Matcha. Haven't opened it yet. These are gonna be gifts. That's that. Another flavor we got is cookies and cream. And maybe some ice. Have a break with Kit Kat. So that's this bag. It's I like this bag a lot. It's very cute. And on the back they have little polar bears and penguins to show how cold it is. <laughs> I don't remember how much we paid for all of these, but I think we got most of them at the dollar store. It's not a dollar store, it's a 100 yen store, Thai. But it was like 100 yen, probably. Another flavor we got is, um, I think it's yogurt, cranberry, raspberry, and almond. From what I can tell in the picture. And it has little crumbles on top of it. And this is what that bag looks like. I think it's white chocolate, or, or yogurt, I don't know, white chocolate something or other. And then a uh, kind of variation of that is ruby chocolate with cranberry and almonds on it. And it has a little crackle stuff on top. And this is what that looks like, very pastel pink aesthetic packaging. Adorable. Oh, I forgot to show you on the back of this one, it has a little picture of the chef, I think. so. I'll, sell, I'll promote him here. <laughs> Good for you. Another flavor is strawberry ice cream. 
and it has the cold stuff on it as well. So here's that bag. And it has a little pole bear and penguin and seal on it. Very cute, very adorable, very kind, isn't it? And this one we did open because we've already given some gifts off is dark chocolate. I can't, I really like this bag actually. I think it's aesthetic to my dark heart. <laughs> I don't think you would get the impression that I have a dark heart though. And then it has the little chef guy on the back. So good for you, chef guy. Hopefully the glare isn't too bad. Two more Kit Kat flavors. So another one is cranberry and almond again, but on chocolate. And pale packaging. Ba -da, ba -da. And the little chef guy again. Good for you, little chef guy. I wish I knew your name or how to read your name. And then the next, last one is a raspberry flavored Kit Kat, which I hope is tasting good. I won't know. Little chef guy. Another food we got is this bourbon. I think the brand is bourbon, but there are these little lemon and salt cakes. And very interesting. My mom wanted to try one of these at least, and then we'll be giving the rest away probably. These two we got at the airport because we were trying to get more gifts. But looking back at everything we have now, I think we have plenty of gifts. But these are Tokyo Milk and Cheese Factory Crackers. The crack. <laughs> these ones were for us. So we open them. But they are lemon and cheese crackers. The cracker is lemon and they have a cream cheese filling in it. I thought these were the ones we tried in the airport, but it turns out they weren't. This is what the little packaging looks like. I think the ones we tried in the um, airport were a different flavor, but we got their big package for a gift. So this is their big package, and I wish I could tell you what was in Oh, wait, I can't tell you. So, wait, I knew they had it in here. But they don't. Oh, man. They have three different flavors in here, but I forgot what they were. I think one was a plain cracker with gorgonzola, another was the lemon and cream cheese, and then there was one more, but I forgot. And I think we're giving this away as one big gift, so I'm not gonna open it. And this was for me because I didn't get to go to the Pokemon Center because um, timing. Oh, hi Mika, you're right there. So I decided to get these little Pokemon snacks for me. I have no idea what it is, like none at all. Like the pictures don't explain anything to me but they have little Pokemon on it Pikachu, Vulpix, Eevee I don't know the other two but they're friends Sun and Moon I haven't kept up with Pokemon that often I know the older generations uh, but I'm looking forward to try this actually I can try this now oh, cute so they come with stickers and something in Jap oh they come with all the stickers so these are the stickers that came with it I don't know the other two, but I got Pikachu. Cute, I will, oh wait, I can't read that. It's covered by their tails. I'll figure out what these Pokemon are and I'll write it right now. <laughs> oh, fake fan. <laughs> and then it comes with a little white piece of paint. Is this a drug? <laughs> what are you? It smells sweet. Maybe it's gum? I don't know what it is. Here goes nothing. It feels like gum. I think it's gum. Well, cute. It tastes good. I don't know what flavor it is though. I I can't identify it. This is very odd. This is like tripping me out. But yum. Okay. And my mom got this for me. It's Choco Mint Pocky. 
as you can tell by my previous video, I like peppermint toads, so chocolate and mint. So this is more of that with the little crackers in them. Are they crackers or cookies? I don't know. I think they're cookies. But cool. I'm looking forward to trying those because we don't have these in America. And then we went very overboard with getting mints like we did in, with the Kit Kats. So I'll go rapid fire through these. These are all mostly Minita brands. We got soda flavored with little happy faces on them. Wind and cool flavored with the glacier on it. No, that's an iceberg. Glaciers are on mountains with an iceberg on it. Dry hard with a mountain on it. These are sugarless. I think all of them are sugarless. Nope, this is the only one that says sugarless. Got that. I like the packaging on this one. Got a grape flavored. Another soda flavored, but this one doesn't have little happy faces on it, I think. Got bitter mint flavored. Got lemon and mint, sharp and clear flavored. Lime and mint flavored. Green peach or melon? I think this is peach flavored. It's not melons. Peach flavored, I think. And we got two of each of those because those are all going to be gifts. And then, oh, I missed one. And then, uh, mint flavored, I hope. <laughs> so we got a lot of mints because they're very thin, easy to pack, and they're pretty good. And then we got a different brand mint, which is Lo Lot, Latte, Lot. I don't know, but it had a cool packaging, so we got it. And those were all like... 90 yen so 90 cents next is my makeup stuff i got i love korean skincare so i thought japanese skincare would be fun to try it and i did a lot of research on it before we went so i had like a list of things i wanted to try so the first thing i got is this dhc lip balm lip color and the color red i wanted to try their original lip balm but I thought it'd be cooler to try a colored one. So that's what this is. This was um, 375 yen. This is a bag, if I can turn it. This is a bag, if that's important to you. Whoops. This I was very excited for because the new Aladdin movie came out and Jasmine is one of my favorite princesses. So it is a eyeliner and this is in the color True Black. And this is what it looks like. And the tip, it's a liquid pen eyeliner. The tip is very fine. And they use, um, I read that the, it's kind of like calligraphy brush, so it's very easy to use. And when I tested it out on my hand, it would not come, up with, come off with soap and water. So it lasted for like about a day because I didn't have access to a makeup remover. So that was very good eyeliner and this was um because it was aladdin themed this was 1600 yen 1600 yen yeah i got two of these can make lash care essences i've been trying to do um castor oil on my eyelashes but i'm not consistent with it because i don't have a brush to put it on with so i thought it'd be cool to try one that does come up with a brush this has a doe foot applicator this was 500 yen so this is cheaper than a lot of the other Lash Care Essences they had, and it has pretty good reviews. And it has a little crown on it, so that means it has a Cosme Award, a 2012 award. I got two of these, and so it was really cheap. So that's cute. Everything is cute. I was really excited to try this sunscreen, because I got a new sunscreen here, but I don't really like it all that much, so... I'll probably give it to my mom <laughs> or I'll just give it away I guess I don't know but this is the Biore UV watery essence SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 aqua rich and this is one of the most popular sunscreens and it is kind of like milky like an essence and lotion so it's not heavy like a sunscreen I haven't tried it yet so hopefully it doesn't have a white cast and it has a Cosme award as well for 2014 but very popular and I did a lot of research on it so it better be good 
The only thing I'm not looking forward to with all this makeup stuff is if it is good, how am I going to get more of it? The thing I got that's makeup skincare is this um, chemical, it's, it's like a chemical peeling jelly. And this is a dupe of the Cure one. This is Det Clear, bright and peel without the scents. It says a fruit peeling jelly, but I don't think it has a scent. And this is what it looks like. It has a Cosme Award as well. And this was about 1,500 yen cheaper than the Cure one. So I thought this was a good alternative. And this has pretty good reviews as well. And obviously it has an award. So I'm looking forward to try it, trying it. I'm gonna do a test patch on my hand before I put it on my face though. Cause my face has been breaking out cause I've gone to Japan and I was stressed and I didn't bring all of my skincare stuff because it wouldn't have fit in my traveling stuff. So my skin needs some saving. Now on to the miscellaneous. I will start off with um, this notebook I got. So I got this little Pikachu notebook. It's just plain on the inside with Pikachu on the corner. And he has little red cheeks and this Pikachu here. And this was on sale for 250 yen. So, good deal. I liked it a lot. I wanted it, so I got it. Ariana Grande. <laughs> uh, another thing I got is um, some film for my Instax Polaroid camera. And it was actually a lot cheaper than I thought it was going to be, even. Especially because it has Winnie the Pooh on it, so like they're themed Polaroids. And on Amazon, the Polaroid film for a uh, single package is about ten fifty, and this was only seven fifty yen, which is equivalent to about seven dollars. So it was a pretty good deal. So I got two of them. I'm excited to use them, but I feel like I have to take very cute pictures with this, otherwise the film will be wasted. Ghibli store, and I only got one thing from there, which this, which is this little pin from Spirited Away. It's the little fat baby when he gets turned into a mouse with that little curl on top of it. Uh, this was 500 yen, so cheaper than Disney pins, but I liked it, so I got it. I'll probably put this on my Disney lanyard because I don't have anywhere else to put my pins. I could put it on a bag, but I want it all on my lanyard. But yes, that's what we got from the Studio Ghibli store. And we found this store at the base of a temple. <laughs> So that was an interesting find. Got these chopsticks with uh, cut up vegetables on them. So like tomatoes and onions and green peppers and bell peppers. And they're wooden chopsticks. They are not machine wash, dishwasher safe. And they said don't boil them or direct with fire. But they're eating chopsticks, not cooking chopsticks. But they're a good deal. They were pretty cheap. So the price tag on here, 300 yen. For all of these, one, two, three, four, five. So, yep. And we got a whole bunch of these as gifts. Bada bada boom boom. And this was from Ahsoka Three Coin Store. Then we got a whole bunch of reusable bags. Here's the first one of uh, Mount Fuji with Sakura Blossoms. I'm not going to open it because these are gifts and I don't want to ruin the packaging. Uh, I think this is Mount Fuji as well, only when it's active and with the samurai. And then this one is just um, more abstract designs. Another Mount Fuji one with a lady. And then, <laughs> I think this one's kind of silly. <laughs> then one with a temple and fireworks with a ninja on it. And all of these were 540 yen. And last in the miscellaneous is these banners we got. We got most of these as gifts, but some of them are for my mom. We got this one of Mount Hush. We got this one of Mount Fuji. This is what it looks like when it's unfolded. And these are machine washable. And they're fabric and they come with nice little wooden posts so you can put them up like banners. And this is another gift. It's a 
of a wheat field or a rice, it's not a rice field, a wheat field in the moonlight with water reflection. This one is, um, oh, I forgot what these flowers are called, azaleas, I think, but it's cute. It's very simple. Another one with um, the lily pads, I think, are what they, they're called. I like this one a lot. This one is for me. It is a skeleton drinking sake and pouring one out for his dead buddy, even though he is dead. I guess further dead buddy with the purple background with the moon, crescent moon. I thought it was, I liked it a lot. Last one we got is these two koi fish or gold, no, two goldfish looking at each other. One is red for fire, one is blue for water. It's kind of like a alternate version of yin and yang. Now for everything we got at Daiso. So we got, some more little um, sitting mats. We got Minnie Mouse ones. These are all plastic. They are 90 centimeters by 60 centimeters. Minnie with her little fashion and, oh, that was the back. <laughs> Minnie Mouse. They had a Toy Story one. With light, lightning. <laughs> With Buzz Lightyear and Woody and the little green alien. Got a Monsters Inc. one with Randall, Sully, Mike, and some other monsters. And then a Mickey Mouse one with Mickey and I thought I saw Pluto on here, but I nope, it's just Mickey with Mickey. Some little washcloths, hand, these are hand towels, and uh, with uh, some pastel Mickey Mouses. And then a Winnie the Pooh hand towel with Winnie the Pooh and Piglet. Then we got some Tsum Tsum Band-Aids. These are all gifts. We got a Shinkansen ex bullet train pen that lights up in the color blue. They had other colors. They had red and green. And it's just a ballpoint pen. Some coloring books for the kids. So a general Disney one. And it's, for Americans, it's backwards to front instead of, uh, it's left to right instead of right to left. Does that make, I think that makes sense. And then we got a, a boy one. It's more Pixar, I guess you could say, with a Toy Story Monsters University instead of Monsters Inc. That's interesting. And Cars. And then a princess one. Some more chopsticks with little chopstick rests included. My hands are shaking, I'm sorry. <laughs> And last but not least, we got some Minion Tissues. Why did I end on the tissues? I mean, this is also from Daiso. I just remembered that, but I put it in the food section. But, yes, yes. That is all we got from Japan. It feels like a lot. Uh. We have to give this all away quickly because I don't want this taking up space in my room. But that is all I have for you guys today. I hope showing you this helps you decide what you want to get when you go to Japan and budgeting wise. We brought a lot more money than we ended up spending considering we got a lot of stuff. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed.
like make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next week or the week after next bye love you